got a request to do Nico D'Angelo. And Nico is a f can force humans, skeletons, and monsters into a death sleep just by pointing at them. What? Okay, that's crazy. Okay, we're gonna start with his head. So it's gonna be like a rainbow top, even though he's not sunshine and rainbow. But the bottom part, he's got a very angular chin. So I'm just gonna go bring this together like this. So the top part's a rainbow, and then the bottom part is very sharp. And then we have a line across the middle. And then here, we're gonna make his eyes. So he looks very sultry. So we're just going to make a line across like this, and then bring it down. And then his eyes inside, I just made them black. Um, all the pictures I saw of him, I might have made his eyes too big, but that's okay. You guys can make them smaller. And then he's got eyebrows here. And then he's got this little button nose. I'd say cute, but he's not really cute. Okay, so we can erase that center line. It's coming along. And he's got this, he's got his neck here. Boop. This is like his shirt. You're like, wow, he looks really bald. Yep. So we're going to put his hair in here. So his hair is almost coming down to his eye. This one's actually going down to his eye. And this one's going to go past his eye down here. And we have one over here. It's going to go touch the eye. And this one's going to come in a little bit. And now we got the upper part. So we're going to come up here and we're going to make a little sprouts. He's got some crazy hair, but it will look good because this is part of his character. Oh, I might actually bring this out a touch, a little far in. Try this again. Um, doop. That looks great. What do we know about this guy? Um, oh, Nico has ADHD, like other half-bloods, which allow him a heightened sense of awareness in combat. Mm, interesting. Okay, so this you are going to be sharpening in black. Guess he's got very black, dark hair. Super job. Then by just sharp, just sharpening this in, we're just getting rid of that. This the bald head. It'll cover it all up so we don't see that. Okay, fantastic. And he's got this like fur collar. It's gonna come right below where we connect it. So we're gonna go like this. And this part's gonna go down like that. So we're gonna connect this collar like this. Like, cool, dude. I might erase a touch here. So we're gonna jump over, whoop. And this is gonna come down. And this line is gonna go down. And we'll put his collar on over here. Super job. This is gonna be like a double a double collar, and his shoulders are gonna come out on either side, and they're gonna come down. And on his shirt, he has, I saw some with many skulls, one skull, skeletons, all sorts of stuff. So I just did one skull head. So we're gonna see his skeleton, the skull eyes, and I just sharpie the shirt black just to make it pure darkness. And he's got his little, the nose socket, his teeth, boop, 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 boop. What else do I know? Okay, as with most half-bloods, Nico is dyslexic because his brain has been hardwired for ancient Greek. All right, so this will end up Sharpie Black, and this will end up, oh, we're gonna put a chin on him. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Sharpie Black. There's his little skull. Okay, we got his arm to this side 
bring this up Whoop. and it's going to go across here because his his hands are in his pocket but this is kind of like the end piece to his jacket sleeve then we're going to put a line here and here and this is where his hands are in his pocket sometimes if you just want to go like the easy way out just put hands behind the back or in the pocket Makes life easier. Okay, that's his belt. He's got a belt on. Okay, so now we are going to do his leg. So his leg's gonna come down. I did, well, well, we'll put in his holes in his knees in a second, okay? Good job. Okay, Nico being a son of Hades, that's pretty big deal, son of Hades. Who's Hades? He's like the god of hell. Great. Is one of the most powerful demigods alive. Super. Hopefully he uses it towards good. Does he use it towards good or bad? I mean, his dad's a bad guy. So what does that mean? Is he a bad guy too? Let me know. Is he a bad guy? Ugh. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to put some holes in his knees. So you can just make it like kind of crunchy. This one has like two holes in it. Over here, we're going to make it look like, like kind of like a Pac-Man. Boop, 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 boop. And then we want the, we're going to make the knee kind of smaller in there. So we're just going to make a little knee. There we go. His knee and his pants. There's going to be more. There you go. And for his shoes, what else do I know? His sword is made of, I don't know how to pronounce this, S-T-Y-G-I-A-N iron. So it's a specific iron um, that can kill monsters. And it was cooled so after they like shaped it and heated it into the sword. It was cooled in like a special river from what I read. Let's get his shoe in here. Oh, we can finish off this part. Oh, and don't put... Let me erase that line in there. Okay, so this is his shoe. It's gonna go across for the shoe, and then this is like the lace. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put a line across. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I sharpied this part in. And I did sharpie in all of this, but the laces and the front part. And I gave his pants just a regular blue color. And his shirt was two colors. It was a tan and a light brown. And just a little gray around here. And this is just peach skin color. So he actually was quite simple and fun to do. So anyways, 